So, the Flash TV show comes to an end, and I'm not thanked in the credits. The Flash movie, I'm also unthanked in the credits. This is terrible news. They mad. SJWs are quick to provide an explanation. In fairness to DC, you've spent the last six years shitting on them, making fun of pretty much everyone who works there, spoiling their stories and giving away company secrets. They're probably not too thrilled with you right now. You're also not thanked in the Flash movie credits. I've only just begun. I have no doubt. I just don't understand why people would be surprised when you're not thanked at this point. Do you think people should expect ingratitude from DC Comics? I don't see why DC Comics, or anyone you insult on a regular basis, would choose to thank you for anything. Just think it's weird others would be surprised at this point when they don't. If you have no respect for them, I'm guessing them not thanking you means nothing to you now. Mark, it's just common courtesy to say thank you. I think it's pretty funny that there must have been a moment when someone over there thought, we used his work, but we're not thanking EBS. I mean, that had to have happened, right? More likely what happened is they said, why are we thanking EVS when he constantly insults us and reveals private company info on his live streams, all while discouraging his audience from buying our product? Why thank someone like that? Out of appreciativeness. Guessing they don't appreciate the way you've talked about them for the past six years. Hashtag no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible, catastrophic news, everyone. Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. It's me, Ethan Van Skyver, unthanked 30-year creator uh, of comic books, specifically The Flash. I worked on Flash quite a bit and created some great stuff for The Flash uh, that's been used in DC Comics, DCEU movies, and uh, resulted in me receiving special thanks, receiving um, gratitude from DC Comics up until this point. Flash movie came out. It is abysmal. It's the worst. It's, it's, it's not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it, it certainly is the weirdest. It left me feeling uneasy and uncomfortable, uh, as though I'd watched some kind of uncanny valley version of uh, these characters that uh, I grew up with, that I that I worked on, that I love, that, that in no way resembled any version of the Flash that I've ever seen. It was really strange watching Ezra Miller have a homosexual love affair with... Uh, a 18-year-old clone of himself while Michael Keaton tried to, uh, I don't know, um, rally them, control them, uh, wrangle them. Very, very strange. And then there was the scowling, uh, lesbian, thoroughly unpleasant Supergirl. It's no fun. I mean, the movie, it's great to see Michael Keaton as Batman again, but the movie itself, my quick review, I give it a D-. minus. It really was terrible. But at the same time, um, where's the gratitude? Where's the thankfulness? Uh, when you use some elements of the of the, my work in the Flash in the movie, why not say thank you, Ethan Van Skyver? James Gunn did it, um, Joss Whedon did it, uh, and even Zack Snyder uh, felt that it was important to thank me. Uh, up until this point, I have received the gratitude and issued a "You're welcome" in, <laughs> in response. But everybody's shocked, <clears throat> and uh, some people are pleased. Like, a lot of SJWs are very excited. A lot of um, mainstream comic book professionals who don't like me are excited that I was not thanked in the new Flash movie. They're like, finally, uh, DC Comics is waking up, and they're not thanking you because all you do is make fun of their pride events and various weird uh, race, gender, sexuality, swapping. I mean, they... You know, that's all you do on your um, live streams, which isn't true. I mean, I do other things. I do that to Marvel as well. Um, but uh, when I uh, do it to DC, I do it out of love. I love the company. I want to see them do better. When they do weird things, I will call them out. When they do good things, I'm going to tell you they're good. I would have loved to have told you that the Flash movie was good and you should go see it. I can't do that. I can't tell you that Shazam with Zach Levi was great. I didn't watch the new one yet, but I will. Zach Levi's based. Uh, Red Pill, totally awesome. I like him. I want to um, support his work uh, at the DCEU. Uh, I want to support David Zaslav as much as possible. I supported David Zaslav in canceling the Batgirl movie. I think we all did, right? I mean, uh, uh, you know, evidently it was a piece of garbage, probably worse than this. But uh, anyway, a lot of people laughing and saying, you didn't get thanked in the movie. How do you feel? Um, I feel sad. I feel 
uh, unappreciated. Frankly, I think that was the intended goal in not thanking me was to make me feel unappreciated. But what about Mark Wade? How does Mark Wade feel today? Uh, Mark Wade, who uh, I don't know if he does make fun of DC Comics. He's caused problems for them a few times that I can recall. Uh, and he was blacklisted from DC Comics uh, for a little while for some sort of problem that he had, some sort of, I don't even know what it was. Like, I just remember um, being with DC Comics execs and them saying, Mark Wade will never write Superman here, ever. As long as we're here, he's not going to write Superman. Well, those people are gone now, so I think Mark Wade is uh, back at DC doing whatever he wants to do. Maybe it's even Superman, for all I know. I'm not paying attention. Uh, but he was excluded from the Flash movie credits, and this is hilarious. Uh, I understand that Mark Wade, who attended the premiere of The Flash in Los Angeles last week, was a little stunned by the absence. So Mark Wade went to, oh, by the way, here's like the, oh, this is so weird, man. The dog is falling. And for some reason, they used this creepy CGI slow-mo dog with his mouth kind of, oh, it's so weird, in the closing credits. I don't know why. The whole movie's uncomfortable. It's it's really weird. Um, anyway, <clears throat> as you can see, we're thanking the creators of uh, the original Flash and then the uh, Barry Allen version of The Flash here. That's uh, uh, Carmine Infantino there. And then these are the special thanks. This is what we're looking for here. We've got Mike Barron. That's great, man. Mike Barron is thanked here. I think he did the version of uh, Flash that needs to eat a lot of calories in order to maintain his running. That version of Flash is in here. All these other guys that I know, Scott Collins, you know, did Flash for a while. George Perez, obviously. Uh, Jeff Johns, definitely. My name is not listed here, and it really should be. It should be right in between, wait, VW, right in between Kurt Swan and Mort Weisinger, which is where I belong historically, I think. And <laughs> Just kidding, in terms of comics. Uh, it should be in here, though, obviously. Uh, what I didn't notice was that Mark Wade's name was missing. Uh, that's bizarre. Uh, Mark Wade noticed, though. Uh, I understand Mark Wade, who attended the premiere of Flash at uh, the Chinese Theater IMAX Los Angeles last week, was a little stunned by his absence. Uh, and those around him were a little more than stunned. Like, I can't believe it, Mark. You're not being thanked? I wonder if Mark Wade went home and threw a temper tantrum and put his fist through uh, uh, his wall again. I wonder if he did anything like that. I wonder if he laid down on the floor and, like, kicked and pounded. Uh, like uh, was reported by others who worked with him, that he will do. He will throw tantrums like that. Uh, with Wade acknowledging firmly but civilly, it was a premiere after all, that he was unhappy with said situation. Yep, he went home and he fought right, <laughs> right through the wall. Fist right through the wall. Uh, watch out, everyone. Mark Wade is mad. Uh, I think they call him King Baby. Uh, so this is interesting. Uh, in the long uh, introduction to the premiere, after production members thanked other production members, it was Ezra Miller who thanked the comic creators, naming Harry Lampert, Gardner Fox, uh, these guys, uh, blah, 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 uh, initiating, uh, notably Grant Morrison was missing from the, also, oh, Grant didn't get thanked either. Uh, did remind me of the time that I bumped into Ezra Miller after, you know, blah, 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 the movie has, okay, who cares? Uh, creator list in full, here are all the people who were thanked, not Grant Morrison, Grant doesn't care. Mark Wade does care. Uh, obviously, I care very deeply. Uh, I, uh, you know, I'm a little bit like, uh, I, I got to say, it, just the incourteousness of this. It's just the incivility of, uh, of not listing me with these greats uh, and uh, wannabes uh, really uh, does strike me uh, as uh, unkind. I should have definitely been thanked. Mark Wade should have been thanked too, um, but he really, really, really cares, uh, and I only sort of really care. No, I only sort of care. Mark Wade really, 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 really cares, obviously, and he let people know at the premiere that he was upset that he was not uh, being thanked. And I, I don't know. I just think it's funny. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Let me know what you think about <laughs> Let me. Th Mark Wade should have been. He created the speed force, right? I mean, he should have probably been thanked. And a lot of people are saying, well, it's because DC's mad at you, Ethan. And maybe that's true. Are they mad at Mark Wade, too? What about Grant Morrison? Are they mad at him? Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting oversights. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Uh, please leave a like, share this video, and, and obviously I do. I read every single comment. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll be back later with another video. Take care. Meanwhile, great news. A lot of people are getting their Cyberfrog action figures right now in the mail. Look at this guy. He got three chicken buckets. He got three Cyberfrog figures of varying uh, kinds. This is great. The reviews are terrific here, and people really like them. To say that I'm behind your videos would be a gross understatement. 
As a result, these were an unexpected but great surprise. Don't remember how many total sets we ordered, uh, but I know there's a lot more to come. These have far exceeded expectations. Man, that's great news. It's great to see. We actually crowdfunded Cyberfrog action figures. We did it with your help, and the, uh, the results are evident. Look at this right here. They look great. Uh, killing Vespas builds an appetite, and nothing better to kill a hunter's hunger than a bucket of chicken fry. And afterwards, we can thank the maker, Lord of Sunshine and Father of All Things Cyberfrog, Ethan Vance Cover. Oh, well, uh, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Uh, this is just exciting to see people getting their toys, enjoying their toys. You can get them too. Um, go to the Electric Blue Cyberfrog Variant Action Figure Campaign. The link will be in the description below. Uh, we're shipping now, so uh, the weight will be uh, minimal, and you'll receive your action figures. Uh, you can also, I think you can still get them autographed if you want. If you wanted to keep it in the package, I think there's an option to get them autographed. Anyway, thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with another one. Take care. Hey, come follow me on Twitter, at Ethan Van Skyver.